Hey guys, welcome to Raj Malhotra's IAS. Today we are going to talk about a very hot shot topic this particular week, and the name of the topic is China's artificial sun. Guys, China's artificial sun is nothing but it is a experimental nuclear fusion reactor. All right, it is a nuclear fusion reactor that has been developed by China, and it is in news because we are switching. or you can say the global energy production is switching from the conventional nuclear fusion all right conventional nuclear fusion reaction based energy production to a new form of energy production which is based on nuclear fusion if you remember from your science and uh, tech classes nuclear fusion is the process of energy generation all right it is the process of energy generation in sun and stars in sun and stars right so from the conventional nuclear fission process where we used to bombard a heavy unstable nuclear nucleus of a heavy unstable element by proton and break it into the sister nuclei that is the nuclear fission reaction it is getting replaced by the nuclear fission reaction which is the source of energy in stars suns etc all right this artificial sun it looks something like the one that you can see on your screen all right this artificial sun the official name of this project is east or east it stands for experimental advanced superconducting tokamak all right it is a experimental advanced superconducting tokamak also known as east project now this artificial sun of china or you can say the nuclear fusion reactor of china or the experimental advanced superconducting tokamak of china is located at the institute of plasma physics all right it is located at the institute of plasma physics of the chinese academy of sciences located in hefei in china all right so this is a potential prelims related question that may be asked in prelims examination so do pay attention at this point now what is a tokamak all right so tokamak which are also known as the experimental nuclear fusion reactor all right these are experimental nuclear fusion reactor this is a tokamak okay a tokamak is an experimental nuclear fusion reactor it is nothing but it is the machine or the experimental machine which is being used to harness the energy of nuclear fusion that takes place in sun and stars now if you try to look at if you try to understand the diagram that is there on the screen you can see that inside a tokamak what is actually happening this plasma is generated plasma is generated by heating the isotopes of hydrogen that is deuterium and tritium so you take the two isotopes of hydrogen deuterium and tritium and you heat them to very high levels you heat them to millions of degree uh, millions of degree celsius and when you heat them it is converted into a fusion state called as plasma it is converted into a hot plasma which is nothing but it is a you can say a gas of ionized atoms when the gas is converted into plasma it is confined to a particular region by making use of magnetic field in the form of toroidal field coil and the central solenoid so this plasma of deuterium and tritium atoms is kept in this particular region is kept in this purple region that you can see on your screen using magnetic field it is prevented from heating uh, it is prevented from touching the walls of the reactor so that the plasma does not cool down in the state of plasma the deuterium and tritium they undergo fusion and this results into release of tremendous amount of energy which can be harnessed to run the anthropological uses of uh, uh, you can say the human beings so the energy that comes out after the fusion of the deuterium and tritium 
resulting into a helium nucleus this energy then can be used to run the turbines and generators and such that the electricity can be produced all the tokamaks around the world they are the experimental nuclear reactors and all the tokamaks are being constructed under the part of iter the project under which all the tokamaks are developed that is known as iter project so let us look at what is the iter project iter project stands for international thermonuclear experimental reactor few decades back it was thought that the nuclear reactors that we use right now all right or we can say that the conventional nuclear reactors all right it was thought that the conventional nuclear reactors are causing a lot of damage to the life and property particularly when there is a nuclear leak along with this along with this if there is a nuclear leak or you can say if the nuclear fission is taking place the waste material that is produced the waste is highly radioactive and this waste is also very detrimental to the humans animals and the property around so these nuclear reactors the conventional nuclear reactors that work on the principle of nuclear fission they were supposed to be or they were thought to be changed and the global effort then switched towards the nuclear fusion as the new form of energy that can be harnessed for production of electricity and various other energy around the world for this a uh, collaboration of various countries started in the form of iter project that stands for international thermonuclear experimental reactor now this project iter project it aims to replicate the process of energy generation taking place in sun and stars to produce energy on earth all right this iter collaboration it was formally announced in 2007 and it is right now headquartered in france at a place called saint paul les turans all right now the countries that are member of iter includes european union it includes the united states india japan russia south korea and china here because of the brexit britain is out of the european union but still all right but still jo britain hai britain is also part of iter project under the european union energy commission membership all right so let's go ahead now now what is nuclear fusion now nuclear fusion as the name suggests it is the process of fusion process of fusion of what it is the fusion of two lighter nuclei two lighter nuclei in their plasma state in their plasma state such that they fuse and they give a heavier nuclei heavier nucleus with a lot of energy with a lot of energy and this energy then can be harnessed for potential anthropological uses now in this diagram you see that there is a deuterium and there's a tritium nucleus deuterium and tritium they are isotopes of hydrogen they are isotopes of hydrogen if you remember your science and tech information or the class that you have attended isotopes are different form of same atoms that have same number of protons but different number of neutrons so if you look at the isotopes of hydrogen the isotopes of hydrogen are h11 that contains just one proton deuterium d12 that contains one proton and one neutron plus p13 that consists of two neutrons and one proton so when the deuterium and tritium they are heated in presence of energy such that they convert into plasma gas then the process of fusion begins and this results into generation of a helium nucleus he24 along with one neutron you see there are two neutrons so basically what is happening uh, the neutrons 
and the protons of deuterium and tritium they fuse together resulting into a helium nucleus along with a high energetic neutron being transmitted out this is accompanied with a huge amount of energy and this energy then can be used for the production of electricity for anthropomorphic uses or anthropological uses all right now this process of nuclear fusion it is the process of energy generation that takes place in star and sun even now all right let's go ahead now what is the reason that we are so much looking forward for the nuclear fusion reactors over nuclear fission reactors so let's have a look at the comparison of nuclear fusion versus nuclear fission all right so nuclear fusion is a clean source of energy all right it is a clean source of energy because it produces no greenhouse gases it does not produce any kind of nuclear waste all right this is a limitless amount of fuel because deuterium and tritium are easy to produce and unlike fission fusion does not have a chain reaction that cannot be controlled all right energy produced from fusion is low cost compared to nowadays nuclear fission so the advantages of nuclear fusion over nuclear fission is it is clean source of energy it is unlimited amount of energy it does not have a potential of uncontrolled chain reaction which many times takes place in case of nuclear disasters such as fukushima and chernobyl it does not produce nuclear waste so that there is no problem of disposal of waste properly then energy produced from nuclear fusion is low cost as compared to the energy produced from the conventional sources such as fossil fuels including coal such as nuclear fuel including uranium and also uranium has a potential to be used as a weapon that is the reason that nuclear fusion is being targeted nowadays but nuclear fusion does not come without its own cost so let us look at what are the cons of nuclear fusion so nuclear fusion it occurs at extremely high temperatures making it difficult to contain and this is the reason that even today we have not completely developed the nuclear fusion reactor we are celebrating the small small successes that different tokamaks are achieving around the world energy required to perform the fusion can be of great it can be greater than the energy received many times and the current research on fusion cost billion of dollar of money which could be invested rather in renewable energy sources all right and lastly the coal fusion may be only way to make fusion efficient but it is yet to be successfully developed so we are actually blowing the arrows in the dark to hit and if it becomes successful then yes nuclear fusion is going to revolutionize the energy scenario for man but it is very expensive production of high energy before getting the energy output is also very difficult hot fusion is not energy efficient and uh, and it is costing a lot of billions of dollars in terms of research and lastly cold fusion is only the benefit but cold fusion is really very difficult to achieve at the moment why was artificial sun in news artificial sun of china was in news because recently china has uh, carried out an experimental reaction on tokamak that has actually resulted into a sustained 288 million degree fahrenheit temperature to facilitate the nuclear fusion in its experimental advanced superconducting tokamak at haipei all right so this is a very big achievement that over 288 million degrees fahrenheit of temperature has been achieved which is 10 times hotter than the temperature at sun further as you know that iter project is responsible for development of the tokamak reactors it is not that china is the only country that is building tokamak china is not the only country and recently in 2020 south korea's k star which is korea's superconducting tokamak advanced research reactor has also achieved 100 million degrees celsius for over 20 seconds you know that these high temperatures are required for creation of plasma because fusion can takes place only in the plasma state and that is the reason you need to invest a lot of energy before extracting energy out of fusion reactors but every small small success one day will result into a cumulative big success for the mankind where energy generation from fusion can be cheap 
clean as well as unlimited. That is the reason that different countries are making efforts to extract energy out of old fusion reactor and uh, which is going to be the next big change that the human civilization is going to face. All right, so I hope that I have done justification with the concept, making you understand what is nuclear, uh, what is, uh, uh, you can say, artificial sun, what are tokamaks, how tokamak is producing nuclear fusion, what is nuclear fusion, why nuclear fusion is better than nuclear fusion, and what are the cons associated with nuclear fusion, and why this artificial sun was in news. With this, I will conclude the session. Thank you very much for having a, uh, having spare time for this presentation about the artificial sun. I hope you, your investment of time is going to give you good returns. With this, I will conclude. Thank you. A very well wishes for your day from Team Raj Malhotra IS. By signing off, this is Akash. Take care.